Well, it's time now for car number two, and Tony, we've got a Cadillac. That's right, it's a Cadillac Seville SDS, and it's nice to be excited about a big four-door Cadillac. That's for sure, this is not your father's Cadillac. Well, that's quite true. Cadillac, at last, has got something to be compared with the world's finest automobiles. For starters, the SDS is a great-looking car. With its low, sleek shape, high trunk line and striking nose, it has a very distinctive look about it. While it looks like no caddy we've ever seen, it does have some details to give the game away. STS, by the way, stands for Seville Touring Sedan. There's no traditional Cadillac stand-up emblem, but you'll find the familiar crest and laurel wreath on the rather overdone egg crate grille. Window glass is flush with the bodywork and bumpers, door handles and other trim is neatly body coloured. To be quite honest, the STS is a far more successful styling effort than the new Mercedes S-Class model, and the designers at Cadillac win high praise, at least from me. It's a practical shape too, both for passengers and luggage. The trunk, which has a cleverly integrated high mount stoplight, is very large and unobstructed, but it lacks any way to thread a long load into the passenger compartment. Perhaps Cadillac owners don't do things like that. The trunk opens wide with a remote key fob gadget and closes itself when you bring the lid within range of its catch. The doors open with a fob too, and you can also turn the interior lights with this nifty little device. Under the hood is a very smooth and powerful 4.9 litre V8, and this is mated to the usual excellent GM four-speed automatic transmission. The power plant develops 200 horsepower at 4,100 RPM. Good that this motor is, there's an even better one on the way, when Cadillac's 32-valve Northstar V8 debuts later this year. The STS will reach 100 km per hour in about 9 seconds, and fuel economy is in the 12 litres per 100 km range for all-around driving. Price of the new luxury sedan is $49,368, and Cadillac's base warranty is 4 years or 80,000 km. Climb inside the STS and you'll think you've planted yourself behind the wheel of a Mercedes or BMW. I did say that this was not your usual Cadillac. The interior is truly elegant, and every inch is beautifully finished and in excellent taste. I never thought I'd say that about a Cadillac, but I'm more than glad to have my mind changed on that score. The dash top has graceful sweeping lines, and real Zebrano wood adorns fascia, console, and door cappings. The leather is of excellent quality too, and it even smells right. Seats are electrically adjusted with an easy-to-reach control, and a console panel takes care of lumbar support and seat heating. Very cozy. There's a strange two-tier console bin for tapes or CDs, and the glove box is useful enough, but there are no door map pockets. The steering wheel is leather-covered and well-shaped, something new for a caddy, and just one stalk takes care of turn signals, crews, wipers, and headlamp flashes. Front seats are comfortable and supportive, and in the back, passengers are no less pampered. This does not look like a big car, but it feels like one for a backseat occupant. The SDS has excellent throttle response, all the power is instantly on tap to get you out of trouble. It handles extremely well for a large car, and the ride combines freeway comfort with back road agility. Cadillac finally moved away from its rolling living room philosophy with the SDS and similar to the Eldorado. It's been a long time coming, there are lots of buyers who will prove Cadillac made the right move. There's no dispute that the SDS is right up there with some of the best luxury cars available. So let's reel a few off. From Journey we have the Mercedes S-Class models, BMW 7 Series cars and the big Audi V8. Lincoln's content is also in the hunt, along with the Jaguar XJ6, Lexus LS400 and Infiniti Q45. It'll be interesting to see what master offers in this class and the Amati range makes its appearance. Well, I love this car, Tim, and quite frankly, I've got a bit of full tank driving the value. Sir, I can't agree with a full tank. I'd give it seven-eighths of a tank or three-quarters of a tank, because I like just about everything about it. The styling is magnificent. If you park this car alongside the new Mercedes 500 or 600, they look frumpy in comparison. This is a beautifully styled automobile. On the other hand, those controls are still a 10 years out of date. They're the same controls we had in the Eldorado Touring Coupe earlier. They're terrible. They're no good. They don't suit a car of this prestige. they got to be changed. I can't They've agree with that. I'm not quite sure what you mean when you say you don't like the controls. I mean, that single stalk is, is very efficient once you get no, to, it's used not. to using it. No, it's but not. it's got everything on it. You don't have to 
some vehicles like old Peugeot's three stalks to do th these same uh, functions with. It takes forever for the windshield wiper to un sort of uncoil itself, and I think that's directly related to the controls. I think the controls should be put somewhere else. I don't know where to put them on the dashboard or something. Just update them as well. Well, I, I thought that it was a big improvement on earlier Cadillacs, so maybe that's not a huge improvement, but I, I thought they were doing pretty... There are some details which I didn't like. I mean, I'm a smoker, but I checked out the ashtray, mm -hmm. and, it, and it snaps you. If you try and push the uh, cigarette lighter, it snaps and closes on your fingers. Maybe so it's, 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 maybe it's in the in the cigars over something. Well, maybe it is. I think it's, <laughs> it's intended to stop people smoking in the car, perhaps. So. The electric trunk grabber. I've noticed a disturbing trend that most car makers adopt this uh, particular contrivance. Um, Accurate on their new legend coupe, and so Mercedes and BMW on their big cars. Now, what is this? This is terrible. Well, I don't know. I think that maybe I, I thought you were going to say that Cadillac owners can be recognised by the fact that their fingers have all been cut off. Because <laughs> I never been, you can get trapped in these things. But I don't know. Um, it's one of those little Cadillac features. Cadillacs have lots, lots of features. They always have had, mm -hmm. and, and it's just one of those little conveniences. I think it's ridiculous. I can see it breaking as time goes down the road, and I know they have broken in the past. Cut you off there and sum up here. Little green light. Things I didn't like about the car, no map pockets in the doors, and no ski hole, no way to thread long loads from the trunk into the passenger compartment. A plus side, lots of things. Great styling, wonderful drivetrain, and great fit and finish. I've got to give this one a driving dollar value of a full tank. If you're going to buy a Mercedes, check this one out first. Well, I almost gave it a full tank. It was a very good car. We'll be right back. Cars these days, imagine.